Hi, my name is Dr. Kometz from the Gold Clinic of Chiropractic. Our mission is to help adults and children achieve their potential in life by keeping them off of drugs and out of surgery through specific scientific chiropractic care. Today I want to discuss a case of you of a long distance runner. Now, long distance running is very damaging to the body if you do absolutely nothing to maintain yourself while you're doing this. Now, the great thing about this guy was he actually did take care of himself. He was going to a massage therapist that he might have been having active release work done, uh, but he was doing multiple things to take care of himself. He was neglecting, though, a chiropractic situation that we discovered when he got into the office. So I want to discuss this case today. His condition was called a subluxation. And what a subluxation is, it's a condition where the vertebrae shifts backwards, it stretches and damages that disc, and that inflammation starts to pinch off that nerve. Now, this condition can cause a whole host of problems, including IT band syndrome, abnormal weight bearing, uh, knee problems, foot problems. So I want to show you what was going on in him, and we'll compare the before and after x-ray. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post these x-rays on the link below, that you'll be able to see these with an actual picture. Well, what I want to do is I want to show you exactly what's happening. These are before and after x-rays. We're going to start with the before x-ray here. The major condition on this patient was an issue at the fifth lumbar. And what happened on him was his fifth lumbar moved backwards by five millimeters. So that vertebrae shifted backwards. And what that does is it starts to damage the nerve when it does that. Not only that, there was only three millimeters of disc space between the sacrum and the fifth lumbar. And there was also a 25 degree wedge. That's very significant. When we took this post, these are, this is uh, 12 visits in between here, that 5 millimeters went to 4, so that vertebrae moved in by 1 millimeter. Not only that, the disc space between the sacrum and the fifth lumbar went from 3 millimeters to 5 millimeters, so that's a really large change, and the 22, 25 degree wedge went to a 21 degree wedge. Very significant for him. I want to show you exactly how the spine adapted the rest of the way up. When we draw a plumb line straight up from the center of L5, what we find is the first lumbar, L1, is shifted backwards 17 millimeters behind that plumb line. T6 is shifted backwards by 62 millimeters, and C2 is shifted backwards by 25 millimeters. In an ideally adapted spine, we would have L5 crossing through C7 and C2 with a normal anterior curve. In the post x-ray, what you'll see is the 17 millimeters posterior to that line is now 7 millimeters. So there's a 10 millimeter change on the curvature down here. When we get up to the mid-back here, you have a uh, from 62 millimeters went to 55 millimeters. So he's walking more upright at this point. And if you take a look at C2 here, it's shifted backwards 25 millimeters posterior to the plumb line. Now it's only back by seven, uh, excuse me, 10 millimeters. So everything is shifting forward. Even the seven C7 is backwards 30 millimeters. Now it's at a much more normal 17. So it's coming more towards normal here. So at this point, at the interim analysis here, he said that he was right on the borderline of significant improvement. He said his hip pain now was maybe out of one, and he says he doesn't feel this anymore unless he's on a very long distance run. Now, one thing I want to note here, during this entire case, he didn't give up running. He actually trained more than he was training than when he came in. It's advisable at the beginning of care that you let your body do more of a healing process, but he's training for something, so he needs to keep going. His words about his how he felt at this point he said he felt much better. Now if he didn't come to a chiropractor over time what would have happened is the disc would have started to wear out and eventually the body would have to compensate so he'd see more hip problems, more knee problems, more foot problems. Worse than all of that he would have to give up on running. If, if you are a distance runner and you're not taking care of yourself, I would suggest that you do something to start taking care of yourself. Make sure you're doing your massages, make sure you're doing your active release, but if you're ignoring chiropractic adjustments, there's a big consequence to that in the future. 
If you'd like to learn more about us, you can visit us at goldclinic.com. You can also visit us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash goldclinic. And you can also check out our YouTube channel.